Hey everyone, welcome back to Popcorn in Bed. I'm Cassie, thank you so much for being here. Okie dokie, Smokies. Tonight, we are watching 300. <laughs> Um, okay, so we had a poll. It was like a catch-up poll. Because remember, back on the lives, I would do these pillowcase polls, right? To put all the DVDs I get in a pillowcase and pull them out. Sometimes I did like a practice poll and I would get like a movie and everyone would be like, oh yeah, watch that one. And then sometimes I would pick the two winners and then be like, that was so fun. Let's do some wild card picks. So I picked those two. No promises. Anyways, I put all those kind of wild cards, practice polls on a poll. A poll of the polls. There was Jeremiah Johnson. There was The Highlander, which got second place. There was Collateral, Legend with Tom Cruise. Anyways, the one that won the poll, which was my very first practice pick of the very first pillowcase poll was 300. <laughs> It's funny, because I just said this about The Godfather, but this seems like a guy's guy's movie. I remember when this came out in college, early college, and like all the guys were quoting it or Sparta Man or something. Anyways, they were into it. And I remember being like, a group of guys trying to get us girls to watch it. And they're like, it's so cool. There's so much blood and guts and gore. I'm like, ooh. <laughs> Let's watch Notting Hill. Anyways, that is where we are coming from. I know this has Russell, not Russell Crowe. Oh uh, my gosh. He looks like Russell Crowe. Gerard Butler. I know this has Gerard Butler. And that it's about the, I don't know what it's about. I know that it was on our historical fiction or based on a historical event poll. I don't know if that means it's kind of a true story. Something about Rome. I'm going to stop because I may or may not be making a fool of myself. Okay, let's get started. If you want to vote on these kind of fun polls, here is my Patreon. I saw a comment the other day and someone suggested a movie in the YouTube comments and then someone commented and said, hey, don't waste your typing. She only takes suggestions from people who pay. And that is just not true. I take it all into account. YouTube comments, Instagram comments, Patreon comments, Patreon messages, emails, okay? So I, I try to do as much diversity and a well-rounded channel of all different genres and years. And I know I am not perfect at it and I may lean towards certain things, but I try. Okay, blah, 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 blah. Let's get started. Subscribe if you're new. I know you wanna, it could be fun. And don't forget to like this video if you like it, right? If you like it, like press the like button. It shows me that you liked this kind of movie or this content or the specific reaction. And that is super helpful. If you don't like it, mm, tell me what I need to improve on in the comments. <laughs> okay, love you all, let's go, bye. Blood, gore, guts, let's do it. 300! I wonder what's symbolic of that number. 300 stabbings? 300 babies! Hi! Like old Spartans, he was inspected. If been small or puny, he would have been discarded. Um... He was baptized in the fire of combat. Oh, that's healthy. <laughs> <gasps> He's a child. Taught never to retreat, never to surrender. Service to Sparta is the greatest glory. At age seven, the boy was taken from his mother, plunged into a world of violence. You don't like Sparta. Manufactured <gasps> by 300 years what to create the, the finest soldiers. The what the frick? Forces the boy to fight. Forces them to steal, and if necessary, to kill. Um, why are we making evil little boys? By rod and lash, the boy was punished. Taught to show no pain. Left to pit his wits against nature's fury. Um, nothing can be worth this. For he would return to his people as Spartan. Or not at all. What is that? The wolf begins to circle the boy. That's a wolf? The giant wolf, sniffing. Savoring the scent of the meal to come. Why is he in a loincloth in a snowstorm? It's not fear that grips him, only a heightened sense of things. His hands are steady. His fall. Weird. 
It's very, like, stylized, right? Enter the boy. Returns to his people. A king! Oh, king! Leonidas! Oh, oh. He's a king because he killed the wolf? A beast approaches. It was King Leonidas himself who provoked it. Whoa, okay. This is intense. Are these bad guys? It looks like, yeah, like, it's so stylized. It looks like a painting. Someone, like, turned the contrast all the way up. Seems like a message. In the end, the Spartans drew strength. So give respect and honor to him, and it will be returned to you. First, you fight with your head. Then you fight with your heart. Persian messenger awaits you. Do not forget today's lesson. Respect and honor. Respect and honor. Oh, at least he's nice to him, not slapping him. My king and queen, I was just entertaining your guests. Before you speak, Persian, know that in Sparta, everyone is held accountable for the words of his voice. What message do you bring? Earth and water. Do not be coy or stupid, Persian. You can afford neither in Sparta. Let us walk. Xerxes conquers and controls everything. Xerxes. Mm -hmm. A simple offering of earth and water. A token of Sparta's submission to the will of Xerxes. Submission. Now that's a bit of a problem. The Athenians have already turned you down. And if those philosophers and boy lovers be diplomatic. And of course, Spartans have their reputation to consider. Choose your next words carefully, Leonidas. They may be your last as king. Oh, I don't think he responds well to threats. Madman. Earth and water. No man threatens a messenger. You threaten my people with slavery and death. Well, I've chosen my words carefully, Persian. This is blasphemy. This is madness. Madness. This is Sparta! <gasps> Did they build that hole? I think I need to do some research on Sparta. Welcome, Leonidas. We have been expecting you. Oh? The E Force, priests to the old god. E Force. No Spartan has gone to war without the E Force blessing. I hope for our sake they exaggerate. Before your plan is heard, what do you offer? Wait, why? They, do they have leprosy? They're inbred? How does one become an Efer? Sparta wages no war. Sparta will burn! Her men will die at arms! Children will be slaves or worse! Funnel them into the muck the hot gates. Their numbers will count for nothing. Xerxes' losses will be so great that he will have no choice but to abandon his campaign. This presentation is working. Consult the oracle. Remnants of a senseless tradition must respect word of the e -force. Who's this lady? Is she real? Is this the oracle? To live among them as oracles. Their beauty is their curse, and souls as black as hell. Sparta will fall, grace will fall. Trust not in men. Honor the god. Honor the carnia. The kings climbed down in bread swine. Worthless, diseased, corrupt. What do they want money for? Oh, yeah. When Sparta earns, you shall bathe in gold. <gasps> Fresh oracle shall be delivered to you daily from every corner of the empire. Has the oracle robbed you of your desire as well? It would take more than the words of a drunken adolescent. She's an adolescent? What must a king do to save his world when the very laws he is sworn to protect force him to do nothing? Instead, ask yourself, dearest love, what should a free man do? Is this all enough? As you ordered, 300. 300. I love that their uniforms are just speedos and capes. We are with you, sire! For Sparta! To the death! Thank you. Let's chill it for a sec. He is your son. Astenos is as ready as any. My good king, the oracle has spoken. The Spartan army must not go to war. I've issued no such orders. Just taking a stroll, stretching my legs. 300 men are my personal bodyguard. What can we do? That's the traitor guy. 300 against a million? Come back with your shield. 
or on it. Your shield or on it? Goodbye, my love. He doesn't say it. There's no room for softness. No place for weakness. Being in love is not a weakness. We heard Sparta was on the warpath. We were eager to join forces. You bring only this handful of soldiers against Xerxes? I was wrong to expect Sparta's commitment to at least match our own. You. Ooh, burn. Yeah. What is your profession? I'm a potter. And you? Sculptor, sir. Spartans! What is your profession? <laughs> I brought more soldiers than you did. No sleep tonight. Not for the king. Is this the ethos guy? We're being followed. My king! Look! What? Yeah. Where are all the people? Persians. Behind them! Child! See those are humans. That is so evil and disgusting. Brothers, fathers, sons, we march. So that's his son? Into hell's mouth we march. Holy crap. Zeus stabs the sky with thunderbolts. Glorious. Only one among us keeps his Spartan reserve. Only he. Only our king. My queen, the courtyard is more fit in place for a married woman. Vague gossip and protocol are the least of my worries now. Who am I to trust beyond the walls of my own home? Sparta conspires against you. Many on our council would vote to give all we have and follow Leonidas. Then you can arrange for me to speak to the council. If it is reason they want, I will let them know. Freedom isn't free at all. Oh boy. I think we're gonna have a big war. Those ships smashed on the rocks. We saw but a fraction of the monster that is Xerxes' army. Why do you smile? Same question. I've fought countless times, yet I've never met an adversary who could offer me a beautiful death. There might be one down there who's up to the task. I am the emissary to the ruler of all the world, god of gods. I demand that someone show me your commander. Oh, frick, frick, frick. Our ancestors built this wall. Your Persian scouts supplied the mortar. Oh, 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 My arm! Oh, okay. Tell your Xerxes he faces free men here by noon this day. You will be dead men. Our arrow will blot out the sun. Then we will fight in the shade. Ooh, <laughs> that's a good line. Yeah. Holy freaking crap. Not to have the men found any route through the hills to our back. There is such a route, good king. It's an old goat path. Persians could use it to outflank us. Monster. I humbly request an audience. I'll skew you where you stand. Forgive the captain. He is a good soldier. I know what I look like. You are the crimson of a Spartan. I'm Ephialtes. Born of Sparta, I beg you, bold king, to redeem my father's name, serving you in combat. Oh. I will earn my father's armor, noble king. Raise your shield as high as you can. We fight as a single impenetrable unit. Each Spartan takes the man to his left, thigh to neck with his shield. I am sorry, my friend. But not all of us were made to be soldiers. But I... If you want to help, clear the battlefield of the dead. But as for the fight itself, I cannot use you. Father, you were wrong! You are wrong, Leonidas! 
Earthquake. What's that? Battle formations. Holy crap. These aren't trained soldiers like the Spartans, are they? This is where we hold them. This is where we fight. I'm scared. I'm scared. I'm scared. Holy Remember crap. this day, man. It will be yours for all time. Lay down your weapons. Oh. Come and get them. Oh. Holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap, holy crap. This seems like a long shot. There's so many. Stop. Oh, 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 I see what they're doing here. They push them away and then they do that. Holy crap, holy crap. But don't throw it away, you seem to need it. Sheesh, kebab. This is insane. They look He's nasty. Sorry. Well, let's give them something to drink. To the cliff. <sighs> oh, gosh. Their arrows will darken the sky. Shields, people! <laughs> Fight in the shade! <laughs> Recover! Oh. Now the shields are even more spiky. Holy freaking crap. It's not, they just can't. Oh, horses. Oh, horses. Oh, gosh. Do what we were trained to do. What Does this go do? on the rest of the movie? They just wave after wave. They just, dear heavens. No mercy. A good start. What's wrong? I was afraid you might not come. You will speak before the council. My husband does not have two days. There are wants which you control. It's his voice you must silence. It's there in the traitor guy. You are wise as you are kind. Why does it seem like something bad's gonna happen? Ah, oh, there's your mind. Ooh, Theron. You should keep a better eye on him if he's to be king one day. Oh, oh boy. Comrades are begging for a crack at the Persians, sire. The Persians are approaching. Small contingent. Too small for an attack. If they assassinate me, all of Sparta goes to war. There's no reason we can't be civil. Oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh, oh gosh. I like how he's just eating an apple so casually. They're just bodies and bodies underneath them. Okay, quite the entrance. Is that Xerxes? You must be Xerxes. Uh, okay. Ah, how is that natural? Is that well, like a voice box he's got on? We've been sharing our culture with you all morning. Imagine what horrible fate awaits my enemies. I would gladly kill any of my own men for victory. I would die for any one of mine. You have many slaves, Xerxes. Why is he eight feet tall? It won't be long before they fear my spears. Ah, don't touch him. It's not the lash they fear. It is my divine power. I will make a warlord of all Greece. You can't just call yourself a god. Your Athenian rivals will kneel at your feet if you will but kneel at mine. It's an offer only a madman would refuse. The idea of kneeling, slaughtering all those men, left a nasty crap in my leg. Kneeling will be hard. I will erase even the memory of Sparta from the histories. Every piece of Greek parchment shall be burned. The world will never know you existed at all. The world will know three men stood against a tyrant, and before this battle was over, that even a god king can bleed. Move it, man! But unless I miss my guess, 
We're in for one wild night. Did all 300 live? They have served the dark will Hersian kings for 500 years. Eyes as dark as night, soulless. Uh... The personal guard to King Xerxes himself, the immortals. Ooh, these are what did those to those villagers? Hubris. What's hubris? Easy to trick. Xerxes has taken the bait. Gosh! No, they're not. We put their name to the test. <laughs> Okay, here we go again. I think there's been a few more than 300 stabbings, like I mentioned at the beginning. Was that a Spartan? I can't tell. <laughs> they speak English or any language or just growl? I can't. Okay. Okay. Oh, Spartans are dying now. Okay. Is that Leonidas? This guy is very big and strong and scary. <laughs> Stop growling like an animal! Oh, oh. No! No! Stabbing wildly. They make a wondrous mess of things. Brave and they do their part. It's like the noise of the gushing. Ugh. Holy gosh. Immortals. They fail our king's test. A god feels a very human chill. For king! There's nothing that can stop us now! Oh, this music. Oh my gosh! To the grotesque, the darkest corner of Xerxes' empire. Oh, I thought these were dinosaurs. It's a rhino. It's killing their own men? That's not stopping him. He's not stopping. He's not good stopping. Please stop. Oh, the gushing. More the gushing. What are they throwing? They fall by the hundreds. I feel like... Excuse me? Excuse me? King Xerxes is displeased when he disciplines them. Oh, gosh. The clumsy beasts. I just need a quick break from the sloshing. I'm still watching. Astonos, my son! Fick, 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 fick. Oh! Day wears on. We lose few, but each failed is a friend. The captain breaks rank. Blood drunk. No. <laughs> It takes three men to restrain him and bring him back to our own. Before Astinos was killed, like, it seems like they need something to humble them because, like, a, a main character has to die because it's too easy to, to, to. What is happening? Your gods were cruel to you. Oh no. But I am kind. Everything you could ever desire. Don't listen to him. Okay. Embrace me as your king and as your god. Lead my soldiers. To the heat of battle, your joys will be endless. He's lying to you. He's going to kill you. Yes, I want it all. I am kind. You unite us. We demand that you stand. I require only that you kneel. Oh boy, 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 oh boy. I knew something was going to happen when the king denied him. I'm told it's been arranged for you to go before the council. I need your help to send the army north to our king. Me, politician. You, warrior. Why would I want to do that? It proves you care for a king rights for the very water we drink. But this is politics, not war. What's this guy's you're deal? Not, you're as foolish as Leonidas if you think men don't have a price in this world. All men are not created equal. Spartan code, my little queen. Good honor. But don't think that you, a woman, can 
walk into the council chamber and sway the minds of men. I own that chamber. Okay, you're not king, sir. Your words will fall on deaf ears. And if he returns without my help, he will go to jail or worse. What does the realist want for this queen? I think you know. Ew. 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 Don't. You. Dare. This will not be over quickly. A oh, sick. Sickening. We united. We are undone. A hunchback traitor has led Xerxes' immortals to the hidden coat pass. Spartans! Prepare for glory! Have you gone mad? Spartans! Never retreat! Let every Greek assemble know the truth. Let each among them search his own soul. While you're at it, search your own. Oh, he's so powerful. My men will leave with me. No retreat, no surrender. And by Barton Law, we will stand and fight. They're not doing the hua thing. The 300 Spartans gave their last breath to defend it. Oh. Oh. They're doing it now. I have lived my entire life without regret until now. But I never told him that I loved him the most. That he stood by me with honor, filled my heart with hate. For him? You will deliver my final orders to the council. He's the storyteller. He's the narrator. Yes, my lord. Is the general okay? For the queen. None let me be spoken. Wait, is he accepting defeat or victory? I don't get it. Hundreds leave. A handful stay. Hundreds leave? Because they want to? Ready your breakfast and eat hearty. But tonight we dine in hell! Holy crap. I don't understand. Wife of Leonidas and Queen of Sparta. I stand before you not only as your queen. I come to you as a mother. I come to you as a wife. I come to you as a Spartan woman. I am not here to represent Leonidas. I am here for all those voices which cannot be heard. 300 families that bleed for our rights. We are at war, gentlemen. We must send the entire Spartan army. Send the army for the preservation of liberty. Send it for law and order. And that your choices today reflect their bravery. Moving, but it doesn't change the fact that your husband has brought war. You disgusting snake. You said you would back her up. How dare you? How dare I? She is a trickster in true form. Just hours ago, you offered yourself to me. This is outrage. Ah, the hypocrite! Did you not receive a similar payment in exchange for her having an audience? <gasps> oh my gosh. A bribe of the flesh, gentlemen. What a sick, twisted thing. Scumbag, I'm gonna... My little queen. <gasps> kill him. Kill him. Let's kill him. What queen-like behavior. Oh, I hate him. I hate him so deeply. This will not be over quickly. Treasure. Oh, <gasps> he has the Persian's money. More of these immortals? You're gonna send the army in time, right? Oh boy. Kill the United is your reason to kill men. Listen to your fellow Greek. The Lord of Hosts is prepared to forgive all. Your victory will be complete if you but lay down your arms and kneel. So he's saying he's not only a god, but the king of the whole world. He would never kneel, right? In more than 30 years, a heightened sense of things, a steady breathing, the 300 at his back, every one of them ready. To die. His helmet is stifling. His shield is heavy. Why doesn't he just throw a spear at Xerxes? You there, at the Altis. May you live forever. Leonidas, your spear. What? 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 No! This creep can't win! What about the wolf? You kill the wolf! We do not retreat. We do not. We die. I I don't get it. Stay off! Oh, he was not kneeling. He was being a trampoline. His helmet was stifling. Narrowed his vision. He must see far. And his target is far away. Oh my gosh. No! Did he mean to do that? No! no! This can't be! This can't be! This can't be! The backup is coming! 
Not what I wanted. Old Leonidas gives testament to our bloodline. My king. It's an honor to die at your side. It's an honor to have lived at yours. Oh my gosh. No, it can't end like this. My wife. My love. Why couldn't his spear have stabbed the man who calls himself a god? I hate that guy. Oh my gosh. That's Delios. I don't like this ending. Oh no. His dad. What the heck? There has to be some redemption. Send the army. Simple an order as a king can give. Remember why we died. He did not wish tribute or song, no monuments, poems of war and valor. The wish was simple. Remember us, he said to me. <laughs> that was his hope. Should any free soul come across that place, hey, all our voices. Go tell the Spartans, passerby. By Spartan law, we lie. And so my king died, and my brothers died, barely a year ago. The bold Leonidas and his 300 laid down their lives, not just for Sparta, but for all Greece. Just there, the barbarians huddle. Sheer terror gripping tight. Now the army is here. And 10,000 Spartans! 10,000. <laughs> We rescue a world from mysticism and tyranny. Tell Leonidas and the brave 300 the victory! Whoa, that was a good speech. Whoa, that was insane. Holy. Okay. Yes, I expected it. I expected a lot of fighting. I didn't expect to like feel deeply and kind of be inspired. And I. I'm sad. I'm very sad at the way it ended. I wanted Leonidas to get back to his wife. I thought we were going to have a last samurai moment where, you know, he, he, he gets back after being shot with like a lot of arrows. It had like Mad Max vibes. And this is weird to say, the vastness of the battles reminded me of like Lord of the Rings. The huge crowds and crowns of, and then blah! Oh boy. I, I liked it. I did not expect that, but I was like on the edge of my seat the entire time. It was so much violence and so much gore and some grossness, but it was like so intense that you can't help but just be so into it. I thought Gerard Butler was like commanding and so strong in more ways than one. I'm blabbering because I, I can't like, I'm having trouble verbalizing my feelings about it because I don't, I can't really grasp how I feel because I liked it, but I feel even weird saying that I liked it because it was just so, you know, like, oh. So all in all, I was enthralled and invested and it was very hard to watch at points, but a great story with vivid imagery. Ooh! Okay, thanks so much for watching along with me. I was surprised tonight. Okay, thanks again. Have a good one.